If you've driven across South Dakota on Interstate 90, you've probably noticed the Porter Sculpture Park between Sioux Falls and Mitchell. And if you haven't stopped, you've probably wondered what's behind all the brightly colored statues. Well, in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Dan Santella shows you the park from the ground and the air. As you drive along Interstate 90 in eastern South Dakota, you'll find the Porter Sculpture Park here in McCook County. Exit 374, one quarter mile uh, south, dragon sign, just follow, follow the road down and you'll uh, have found yourself in a rabbit hole. Wayne Porter made all these sculptures. He's owner of the park too. He also gives credit to his dog, Bambino. Uh, my dog and I run this place. My, my dog's the brains, but I have the opposable thumb. A opposable thumb will get you a long way. The park has been open here since 2000. Porter says he does this because it needs to happen. Why do people climb those stupid mountains? I, that's crazy, but they do it. Um, I, I read a book. I was trying to figure all this out myself. I read a book called The Creative Brain. Uh, um, and, uh, and things have to be done. This artist from Ham County says art is about saying something. Our art, uh, no matter what type of art, is about communication. And so that's the nearest I can come to it. But uh, clearly people who are, are, are writers, poets, artists, they're, they're trying to communicate. And what are you trying to communicate? Uh, if, if I knew that, life would be more clear for me. This little nook on the rolling hills of the prairie is a study of contrasts. The still permanence of these sculptures set up against the backdrop of Interstate 90, guiding travelers across Kelloland and well beyond. I love the prairie. I, I'm from uh, the prairie. I used to have a sheep ranch in the prairie. Uh, I love to hear the meadowlarks. I love to watch uh, the sheep, uh, the gophers. I like to see badgers. I like the wildflowers. I like the wind. There's nothing I don't like about the prairie except the storms. It's something that we didn't expect in the middle of farmland. Kim Postelway and her son Beckett are from the San Francisco area. Initially, it's pretty whimsical, and then it kind of takes a little dark turn at some point. So it was a little bit of a surprise, but that kind of adds to it. It's kind of fun. Part of it feels a little bit like the the Nightmare Before Christmas. So, um, so that kind of funky, a little spooky, but not like gory. Kind of reminds me of Far Side by Gary Larson. Yeah, it is it's like weird, funny, and a bit dark. I mean, it's pretty with like the way that they are up against the open land. It's it's, it's yeah. a neat look. It's something you don't see, definitely don't see anywhere near where we live. I, I mean, a lot of different people. Porter says thousands of people come to the park annually where they see pieces like these goldfish. I used to have a goldfish bowl and goldfish are so tranquilizing and people get them and just watch them swim back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so it's a cheap button, but I like goldfish. Okay. Then there's this hand with both a thorn and a butterfly. This is, this is um, how pain and joy can coexist, but neither hang around forever. Butterflies fly away, thorns are pulled. Experiences and perspectives change with time, too, and they highlight where an artist is at that point. It, it, it's like my diary. I have pieces here that are 40 years old. In, in those days, I was uh, uh, into horror movies. I don't like horror movies anymore, but I got some pieces here I would not do again, but I don't cut them up. I leave them on, on the trail because they're like part of my diary. Memories that stay with him and people who pass by. Yeah, it's fun. It adds a memory to this trip. We will not forget this. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dancing Time. For a link to the Porter Sculpture Park's Facebook page, head to Kelloland.com.